In this video, we will provide you with an overview of a scaled Agile solution in Monday.com using the Monday Dev product. Stay with us until the end of this video and we will show you how you can try Monday.com for free yourself. If we take a look at our overall structure of our solution at the top, we have the portfolio level where our epics live, then we have our program or Agile release train, art. Under the program, we have the features. Under this program, we have a handful of other boards like program increment board, PI planning schedule board, PI planning board, PI objectives, our roam risk board, program dependencies board, and dashboard. Below our program, we have our Agile teams and their respective user stories. Under this area, we have the Sprint Management Board, and each Scrum team has its own Sprint Board and Retrospective Board. For the purpose of this example, we have just two teams, but each art can have anywhere from 5 to 12 teams. Let's dive in Monday.com and see the structure of each board. First, we start with our Leadership Portfolio as a board where we have our strategic themes listed. In Scaled Agile, these are typically called EPICs. Then our portfolio and epics will be worked on by an agile release train. This is where our portfolio board and epics connect to our program board which hosts our active program increment. Under this board we have our program features prioritized using the weighted shortest job first approach. We can also see our features in a Kanban view by status. This board has three groups, one for the active PI, one for the next PI, and the overall backlog of the program. Nextmonday.com can help us handle scheduling of our PI planning by creating a calendar just like this. This is an example of a three-day PI planning schedule. We can change the view from calendar to a table and adjust our PI planning sessions as needed. We can even send out email invites directly from Monday.com. Every three months or so, all the teams under one Agile release train get together to plan another program increment. For this activity, we create a dedicated board called PI Planning Board, just as you see here. Each group represents the team, and each team can add their user stories and tasks part of the planning event. We combine this solution with the Work Canvas, which is a whiteboard by Monday.com. Under this Work Canvas whiteboard, we created a template for our PI planning event. This template has the sprints as columns and the teams as rows. The best part of this whiteboard is that we can integrate it with our Monday.com board that we just looked at. This allows us to pull those tasks or user stories into the whiteboard. This is a huge benefit. The idea is during each team breakout, like the ones listed in our PI schedule board, teams get together and break down the large features into user stories. Then the user stories get spread out across the sprint based on the order the user stories need to be worked on and their capacity per each sprint. On the whiteboard, you can mark the dependencies between the user stories with a red line as you see here. Next, we can store our PI objectives that come out of our PI planning event into a board like this. The PI objectives boards holds our PI objectives by group. Each group represents one PI. We also capture the business value that was assigned by the business owners during the creation of the PI objectives. One of the sessions during PI planning is outlining and discussing the program risks for that program increment based on all the planning. This board captures the risk by type such as Resolved, Owned, Accepted, and Mitigated, or Roam. The Program Dependency is a dedicated board that captures the dependencies across the art. The leads across all the Agile teams can come together during sessions like Scrum of Scrum and use this visual to manage their dependencies between them. This can be done at the Feature or User Story level. Next, let's take a look of the dashboard and metrics we have for the PI Planning Board. The program dashboard is focused mainly on our active PI. Keep in mind this is a custom dashboard. This means that these metrics I have here are just an example and you can create any other type of custom metric you want to track. Next, let's look at how sprints are being managed across all our scrum teams. All sprints under the program are managed under the sprint management board. This is because all the teams under one agile release train, art, typically follows the same sprint cadence. This means all scrum teams start and end the sprint at the same time. This is the board that allows us to manage that sprint consistency across all teams. All our scrum teams are mapped to this board by sprint. Let's look of one of our scrum teams and see how we structured that board. Each scrum team has a board like this one. For team X, for example, we group the view by sprints. Each sprint from here coincides with the sprint management board. At the bottom, we have a group for the team backlog. 
we created a view just for the active sprint that shows us all the user stories. Some of the views we have in this board is a Kanban view, similar to the program board where we had the features. The daily view can be used for daily stand-up, for example. Going back to our active sprint, we have the option to see a live burndown as well. This chart shows as a run chart of remaining work. Next, we will look at our retrospective boards used by the Scrum teams. These boards are used for the sprint retrospective meeting at the end of the sprint, in which the team reflects on what went well during sprint and discuss improvements. This style of retrospective is a start-stop continue style retrospective. Team members add improvement items to the board, they can vote on it and decide what they want to do with each item by placing it in the column. Another style of retrospective is the board that captures all the opportunity of improvement under the feedback column. The team decided if they want to improve, keep or discuss each item by using the statuses and voting as a team. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want to try mondaydev.com for free, check out the link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more Agile solutions.